Michaela, this is Romina, we're the Chiappa yeah. Sisters and we've come along with G to make today an amazing dessert for any dinner party. It's an amaretto semifreddo using this gorgeous Luxardo amaretto and it's an absolute killer which will really impress whenever you've got guests over. Means will you mind whizzing up? So we've got about 500ml of double cream that need to be mixed with a tin of condensed milk. Is this for the ice cream you're making now? So this is, this is like the semifreddo, so these two ingredients plus two teaspoons of vanilla extract will make you like a vanilla ice cream. One. Okay, and now that needs to be whisked to soft peaks. What do you want me to do? So you're going to take these amaretti biscuits and give them a bash. Awesome. Mash those. Do you want them kind of fine or what are we going for? Kind of chunky, a bit fine. A bit rustic. Yeah, I like that. Ready for Is our soft peaks firming up. You could put that straight in the freezer and you've almost got yourself a lovely soft vanilla ice cream or mix it up literally with anything. Desiccated coconut, jam to give like a skin or cherry. Yeah, give that like raspberry ripple effect. But today to make this an amaretto semifreddo, we're gonna add into that some chopped almonds and two tablespoons of this lovely amaretto. And we're also going to put two tablespoons into it to soak the amaretti biscuits. You know, uh, the main flavour that people get from yeah. it is almonds. Yes. Um, however, traditionally, the main component of amaretto liqueur is not actually almonds. Oh, really? Yeah, it's actually, it comes from the apricots. So, apricots. yeah, so the stones of apricots or all stone fruit impart this almond like flavour to things. So, when we're making this, we don't actually use any almonds at all. Uh, all we use is the apricot kernels, cherry pits because we grow cherries, and also we add uh, peach kernels to it as well. Um, so if you do have nut allergies, obviously you can't have this dessert, but the drink that I'll be making later, you can. So two tablespoons of soaked into these lovely amaretti biscuits. Oh, the almonds and the amaretto's <laughs> also gone in here. So we're going to put half of the amaretti into the base. Spread it out. Yeah. Cool. That's bit good. More. A little bit more, because actually this more. is going to end up being the top. So we want like a good oh, layer. Okay. Yeah. Now you go with half of the mix. Get it as flat as you can. Don't stress too much. The other half of the biscuits. Awesome. Evenly distributed. Jump in. Teamwork, yeah. teamwork. Spread that out. And then the rest of your creamy mix there goes on top. Nice bit of liquid veggie. Do you know what? I think I might put that on toast later. <laughs> uh, <laughs> looks pretty delicious. That's it. We're going to fold over. So basically, all I've put there is some cling film, layered it into a loaf tin. That needs to freeze for at least five hours. And some cocktails, please? Yes. Today we're going to be making the all time classic amaretto cocktail, which is an amaretto sour. This time we're going to be making it in three different ways. Ooh. Usually, when you go to a bar, it's got egg white in it. Um, a lot of people at home, you know, you might not want to use raw egg in your drinks. Um, so, we're going to do that as one version. Uh, the next version we're going to do is with no egg. And then for the last version, we're going to get a little bit crazy and we're actually going to smoke it as well. Ooh. Yeah? Uh, so, we're all going to start off with the same base. Um, obviously, you guys are going to be making it at home. So, here's your kilner jar. Uh, for you, I have a different vessel. You've got a little thermos flask. Thermos flasks are awesome for making drinks in as well, um, just because they retain the temperature, uh, so they keep it really nice and cold. So first of all, what we're going to need is our amaretto. So we're going to need 50 mils of amaretto per serve. There's a bottle for you. There's a bottle over here for you as well. Whoa! <laughs> Bringing out I the get big to guns. Go home with this. You 50 mils, so full. Yeah. So fill up to the top. My one's got the egg in it. 
Yeah? It's important to put the egg in first, just in case you do get a dud egg, you know, you can't want to know about it before you've put all the booze in, or else you're going to waste it. So yeah, we're going to separate the egg white because that's the part we want. We don't want the yolk for this one. There we go. So that's going in the bottom. So the egg white is going to give us like an amazing texture. It's okay. just going to be really nice and velvety. Yeah. We've got the lemon juice just over here. So if you want to add lemon juice, it's one shot per serve. So that's to the 25 mil line. Yeah. And then we're going to go with some Angostura bitters as well. Yeah. So the bitters is excellent for like depth and flavour. About two dashes. That's perfect. Yeah. Do you oh. need some? Lemon juice in here. I do indeed. I feel as if I'm your like soon <laughs> cocktail maker. Oh, you're my bar back. <laughs> okay, so with yours you can go straight in with the ice. Um, so if you want to put a load of ice in there, um, yours you can put your ice in as well. Okay. And give it a good hard shake. Obviously, the perks of being a bartender, you don't need to work out because you know, you're know strong already. So, yours, I think we can go straight into the glass. Instead of using a glass, you've got these lovely cherry jars that we've sort of uh, reusing. Yeah. So, this, we're going to make it look good in a different way. So, what we've got is we've got some nice bev naps. Everyone likes flamingos. So, we're going to put this over the top. Once you've done that, we've got some nice straws over here as well. So, a good trick with the straws is to wet it a little bit underneath the tap. Yeah. Why is that? Um, so that you can get it through. Now what we've got here is this nice surface. Yeah. And what you can do with this nice surface, you can perfume it. Yeah. Because obviously smell influences what you taste as well. So we're going to get some lemon, just a little bit of the peel. Uh, and then if you want to do the, the oil trick over the top. So you're just going to spray it with the oils. And it's going to give that really nice aroma. The other thing we're going to do as well is if you want to just plonk a cherry just on the top there and you can have it after you've eaten. So with my Still one... I'm doing this at home. It's good, isn't it? That? It looks so good, you know? It's amazing. Um, if you want to strain yours out... With no ice. With no ice. For my one, I'm going to strain my one out and then I'm going to remove the ice because obviously we want to get that really nice texture on it. Yeah? So now that I'm throwing the ice away from mine, I can whip it up. Whoa, look how frothy that is. Yeah. And then it's going to get even more frothy now. Awesome. So this one, you know, we've given it a dry shake. It's got loads of air in there. So we've got the ice head down here. There we go. And then this can just go straight on the top. And you see that creamy, foamy texture that you get, yeah? That's what the egg white does. Again, we're going to express some oils on the top with a lemon for the aroma. We're going to garnish with the cherries as well. That's so pretty. Nice. Right, now for your one, we're going to do something a little bit crazy, yeah? You know, I'm sure a lot of people have been to cocktail bars before, yeah. where you've seen people doing things where they've smoked a cocktail. You know? But I've never seen it. Have you never I've seen, seen it? it? No, I've never seen no. it. Right. Um, well, in some bars. Anyway, um, but usually they have sort of, you know, smoking guns. You know, so smoking guns are about £60. Pounds. Not everyone wants to go out and get one. But you can get the same effect if you're having a dinner party at home. So we've got over here some nice black tea. It's loose leaf. We just put it on the middle of a plate and we're going to light it. Yeah? Um, obviously, you can use any tea. For me, my favourite is either just straight black tea or you can use like a caramel tea. It gives it a really nice flavour as well. Yeah. You can just do this with match? Yeah, you can do this with match. Yeah, it cooks match. Right, so we've got our serving vessel. That's going to go in here. We're just going to hold this over the top a little bit. Uh, it's going to fill up with the smoke and then just put it down. This is a really cool party trick. You know, you put it on the table and all your guests are there and they're just like, hang on a sec, what's going on? There's smoke in my drink. This is crazy. Um, so yeah, now we've got the smoke trapped in there. You know, you can see it, it'll become a little bit darker when we put this in. And you give it to your guests uh, with a straw on the side, and then when they open it, they get that aroma, you know? And the more that you shake this, the more uh, smoke is gonna go into the drink. Give it a try, tell me what you think. Ah, oh, here we go. That's a smoke. Oh, smells 
good. Yeah. yeah. yeah and good. when you pick it up, you can you can smell it. It's, it's really nice. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. 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 No way. Cheers. Enjoy. Mm. Ooh, that is really good. So there you have it, folks. Uh, Amaretto sours, three ways. So quick, so easy, so delicious. Oh, so ladies. Mm. Now that we've got our drinks, I guess we should probably clean down. Get ready for the main event. Let's do it. So here it is. This should lift out nice and easily. Turn it upside down. There we go. Here it comes. So perfect. We grab that plate. Open it out. Oh, it's so good. I'm just excited about it. It's like, it was... a, it's like a biscuity uh, Viennetta. Yeah. yeah. So you could crack into that right now, or we've got some melted chocolate, 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 chocolate and just drizzle it over the top for a real party effect. Look at that. My favourite part. Splodge. So I guess it's a different way of serving up ice cream after a dinner party, and it's homemade. So rather than you know going to the supermarket, buying yourself pre-made ice cream, literally whisking what cream, condensed milk, a few little extra ingredients, and letting it freeze. That is it. This is amazing. 